Now, the federal government has been advised to give attention to funding the research of neglected diseases, also categorized as infectious diseases, in order to curb the increasing debt in the country. Our health correspondent Jacqueline Nogo was at the Nigerian Institute of Medical Research, where young researchers have been taught how to detect the sleeping sickness parasite faster. Here's our report. Sleeping sickness, medically known as trypanosomiasis, can make a human being or animal sleep for months and eventually die due to inactivity. Sleeping sickness is among the neglected tropical diseases. It is caused by parasites and commonly found in rural areas. Here at the Nigerian Institute of Medical Research, scientists are seeking from the classroom to the laboratory through faster DNA research, quicker ways of identifying the components of the sleeping sickness parasite in animals for easy cure. When the organism is very small in the microscope, it will be very difficult to identify. So this, but this uh, DNA methods will amplify even minute quantities of DNA that are present, so the organism will be able to be easily identified. So the idea is to, to nip in the bud mort eventual mortality. Senior researchers in the country are highly concerned about the neglected tropical diseases which are increasing the dead bodies of African nations. They believe research collaboration will help safeguard lives. If you are doing a collaborative research work, you are likely to get a better report. When you use it to formulate policy, it will address the disease burden in the whole nation. Dengue fever is causing a lot of havoc in Asia and other parts of the world, and we are getting increasing evidence that we have circulating dengue, fever, dengue viruses in Nigeria. And that is why we have to increasingly be more alert, be able to say we are articulating control programs for some of these diseases. The World Health Organization says tropical nations cannot give themselves a clean bill of health if neglected diseases are not given the needed attention. Jacqueline Ogo, TVC News, Lagos. Health correspondent Jacqueline Ogo joins me now for more on this. Jacqueline, let's talk about why funding of research into this neglected diseases of mentioned is important right now. Yes, it's very, very important at this time for governments within sub-Saharan Africa to fund neglected diseases for several reasons. You know, there are some diseases that are peculiar to this side of the world. And in the Western world, they don't have such diseases. For example, you don't have river blindness everywhere there. You don't have dengue fever. You don't also have Lassa fever. And so the government of those nations are not expected to be funding, you know, research into such diseases while governments within sub-Saharan Africa are just sitting and watching. They would not do that. Sometimes we take advantage of the research they've carried out internationally, we tap into them. But in some cases, they wouldn't do anything because those are not their diseases. That is why it's very important that the governments of nations in the tropics would stand up and you know, fund research so that the people will not die. One of the reasons why these diseases are not funded is because um, they, they, they term them to be diseases uh, for the, of the poor. And so if you neglect the poor, who go to the farm, who make the produce for you and I to eat, who will be there if they all die? So there's a big risk to national development. So these diseases have to be looked into, the funding mm. have to be looked into. Another reason again is this, you know, bacteria, they, 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 they develop resistance. If they know you want to destroy them, they try to get some muscles of their own. So you have to research to strategize and know how to destroy them. And the researchers are saying this can't just happen, you know, by the government, you know, sitting aside and watching them. They need fund. Um, research costs uh, a lot of money and governments have to be willing to fund research so that there will be life safety. Absolutely, Jacqueline. So you visited the Nigerian Institute of Medical Research. Help us understand what's happening there with the level funding we have currently. How much work is taking place at that center? Yes, they, 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 they are actually using DNA this time. What, what, what they did today, what I saw was that they want to know how um, the parasites that cause 
sleeping uh, sickness, you know, how, how the parasites mutate, you know. So they, they want to be able to detect the parasite faster by using the DNA method, that's quantitative DNA, which is faster. For example, if you were doing that at, uh, for about four hours before you get to your answer, they want to make it like, okay, let's come to one hour. And you know what researchers do is that they try to always see that they compress time. If something is supposed to be achieved in one hour, they can achieve it in 20 minutes, it's better because that means that if that disease is to ravage a country and they are able to detect fast, it will not spread very fast. All right, Jacqueline, we might just have to leave it there. The new Minister of Health says it's going to do all that within its power to reduce medical tourism and let's hope that that will also impact on research in this light. Jacqueline Ogo, health correspondent there.